All right, so we didn't do super well on day one with part stuff. Um, so I'm going to need to, at the very least, attempt. I did one. Nice. That's that's still pretty bad. And we want to get rid of all the junk and switch this to condition. There's nothing else that was repairable, so now we have to go through. And I put my mark at 70% because there's a few that come in slightly below 70. And eventually we'll keep more than that, but for now that's what we're going to deal with just because, yeah. I'm dealing with customers right now. I'm not making my own vehicles. I don't have enough money for that. If I had enough money for my own vehicles, then it would be a different story and I would keep some crap and just kind of throw it together because anything over 50% is still yellow. And I'm fine with anything up just all the way down to like 30% because it still works. Enough for my needs, anyways. So I haven't really tested to see how well stuff spawns here in theory it's just random anything something that would have basically showed up at the uh, auction but worse but I don't know if it's going to include all the mod stuff like uh, in in theory could i get an suv or a truck in here or something with like a w12 because that'd be amazing right and just as annoying as these are in real life every single little clip is the worst oh that's an air filter oh yeah garbage A lot of parts left. That's good. That means that there is at least a potential return on this rather than absolutely nothing. Which is, I mean, fully expected a lot of the time. Belt A, belt B, idler. Got the crank pulley. Nope. Water pump and power. I don't need to take out the power steering actually to take out the timing cover. I want to get as much of the top end apart as possible just because that's way easier to deal with later on. What's holding you in place? Park plug. Maybe then just take this stuff off for extras. That should be everything on the top end here. Oh, I can take out pistons now. Because it doesn't have an oil pan on. I think that was the requirement, is you have to take off the oil pan, which is why it annoys me. Because you have to lift it up, take off the oil pan, then do the pistons, then do the crank, then do the block. But these scrap cars generally don't have all that. Can't quite 
I reach that. Uh, can I get up the fuel tank, maybe? Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I had it. I had it. Uh, there we go. I did it. Okay. Woo. That's such a pain. Every time. Still got a couple things holding you in place too. Take up the muffler. There you go. I do like the universal universal universality. There's a word of all the parts. It makes things a little bit simpler when you're trying to replace stuff or scum it like I am. And you have a bushing. Good for you. You have a bushing as well. <gasps> Amazing. Those aren't even threaded. Love them, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can warp all the way up there. Not quite. All right. Old school. Here we go. And then you see how much money this one's making us as compared to like the other one, because most of its parts were all junk and whatnot, and this one just had more in general. I think the straight four stuff is better than the uh, straight six. All right, we got to take off tie rod ends. One of these ones you have to take off the shock absorber. Take it off the spring. on you, don't it? Eh, eh. No? Oh, you're just being a little prat. Alright, fine then. I wish it didn't pull away so quickly. Or at the very least it stayed in a similar position. But, you know. Little things. And as you can see, we're already making quite a mint. Uh, transmission's still in place here. much better went faster made a lot more money beauty 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 and that does day two till next time